You know, in real estate, you often hear about cash on cash return. Well, what's a good cash on cash return? Hey everyone, Jesse here. Well, a lot of folks will say typically between eight and 12% is a good cash on cash return. Now in some markets, even between five to 8% is deemed as good. Well, with the slow flip, our clients and partners are actually getting sometimes two to even three times that amount for cash on cash. Now, why is that? Well, here's the thing. With the normal rental property, you go and put down 20% down. And uh, if you're financing it, right? Sometimes even 25% and you start getting cash flow and you have to save back up again until you have another 20% to put down on your next property. Well, with the slow flip, you're putting 20% down to get that property, but here's the cool thing, you're actually getting sometimes between 10%, 15%, and every once in a great while, even 20% back the same day you buy the property. That's right. So you're putting down 20%, but you're getting half of it or more back the same day. Now, how does that work? Well, that's one of the beauties of the slow flip is you can do more deals faster. And so our cash on cash returns usually start around 12% to 15% and go up from there. And sometimes um, we're even at 20s to 30s and even higher. So of course it's deal by deal. There's great deals, there's good deals, there's amazing deals. Uh, there's no bad deals because if it's a bad deal, we just don't do it. And we don't share that with our investor network. But the slow flip will allow you to do more deals faster and produce a much higher cash on cash return. So would love to answer any questions you may have on the slow flip. If I can give you some any more guidance and help, let me know. I always want to be there to help you in your investing journey uh, and get started or get going.